I have wandered along the bristly brambles, snagging threads across the thorns that hedge my way. If perchance I find a place where I might amble, where the bees and honey trees have called my name. I'll sing, come all ye stitchers, come while away the time. Fetch the needle and the thread, see what ye may find. My dreams of sewing seams had been fading, and my goals of mending holes had all but died. Till the moment the bewitching stitching maiden recommended that I cast my fears aside. She sang, come all ye stitchers, come while away the time. Fetch the needle and the thread, see what she may find. So if you find you're out of spirits, out of money, and you're walking down the dusty road alone, come with me to the realm of hope and honey. In the land of milk and thread, you'll find a home. We'll sing, come all ye stitchers, come while away the time. Fetch the needle and the thread, see what she may find. Come all ye stitchers, come while away the time. Fetch the needle and the thread, see what she may find. Okay, here we are. Hello, back at Sandy's house <laughs> at my friend Sandy's house. Yeah. So uh, we did get some requests for um, fall Aww. decor video. So we <clears throat> got pictures of that at the front of the video. And uh, we ended the last video saying we were going to do a yarn, a knitting video. We did. We, we filmed Which one. Which we did. <laughs> Filmed one, but then I went to edit it and attach cute Benya Kirk's video, and it a thirty minute video had been, what do you call it when a video or something gets messed up on your computer? <laughs> you or I, I don't a know. video got messed up. On your it got computer. messed up. It went from thirty minutes down to a minute and three seconds. So I was like, that's not even usable. Um, so mm -hmm. I got to get in contact with Benya, and we will do another knitting video. Um, that's completely separate another day. Yeah. And we'll do some <clears throat> but I'll we go did spend do time it. with Benya. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we will go spend time with Benya. Yeah, maybe we'll we say, should. Let's go to Paula's house. Yes, we should. Because that would be super fun. I do need knitting help. So Oh, well, so apologies if you were anticipating that knitting video. It happened, happen. but it didn't happen. Yeah. Right. Not on YouTube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so oh well. Yep, that's okay. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do some really quick. Oh, wow. We've got some good stuff here on the table. It's we beautiful. Are loaded. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. And we'll give you a little update um, about where we've been. What have we been doing? I, I don't even know. That, that's why I was laughing when we started the video because I, I don't know where I've been. Yeah, it's like a flash <laughs> of. I've been a lot fun. of good. We've done a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. We've done some things together and some things separate. separate but yeah, like across the country. It's crazy. Yeah, it's been a crazy fall. Mm -hmm. But yeah, good. we've had a couple of retreats. Shepherd's Bush was very fun. Yes, yes. That was my first Shepherd's Bush. We could do a whole just on video. that. But you should just come sometime. Just yeah. get on that list and try yeah, to get to it because one. it's a it's good a one. It's a really good one. I loved the best part about it, really, other than, I mean, everything was the best part, but we had time to just be with our teacher for yeah. like, three hours right and then we had so you could actually start their project and sit and talk mm -hmm. to them mm -hmm. and that they was just kind wonderful. of wandered and mm -hmm. yeah that was wonderful and then we had free time to just kind of do whatever we wanted yep stitch Eat. and then meet at we night ate. we ate a lot good food yeah it was fun yeah we brought lots of good food mm -hmm. we saw kim gavlik and her daughter ashley they came in 
Grace joined does. us. They joined us for dinner one night. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, it's super fun. Yeah, super super fun. And Wendy. And um, Wendy Petrus. We got to sit with her, and so that was fun to have her kind of join our table. And yeah, yeah, that was really fun. Yes. So thank you, Kim, Ashley, and Wendy. Yeah, it was really fun to spend time together and have time to spend together and <clears throat> learn more about other people mm -hmm. that are out there in the stitchy world. Yeah. Sometimes the you know. We don't have the time to do that when we're at mm -hmm. these kind of things. And so it's fun to have some downtime a little mm -hmm. bit. Not so, so rushed. Mm -hmm. and it was it was very, very fun. Yeah. I loved it. Yep. Enjoyed our company much. Yeah. Okay. So we did that together. And mm -hmm. then uh, I see that it's just a whirlwind. It's I don't even know. We had another little hand stitching retreat mm -hmm. uh, that's all different kinds of cross stitch and knitting and Embroidery yes, and needlepoint and mm -hmm. under the garden moon. Yes, Amy, you've seen Amy, Amy here McClellan. Before. Uh huh. It's her retreat, and that was a lot of fun. It was mm -hmm. all Christmas themed. Um, that was really fun. And then I got to go to Giant Stitch, which and see oh, Ann and Pat. Hi, so Ann and fun. Pat. Oh, I loved every Tell minute. us about that. And be with Brenda Gervais, and it was just it was just one of those things I'd always wanted to do, and I, when we went to the store, it was so fun because I walked in and first thing, right through the front door is your tree of all your states. Aren't they the best? No, not the <sighs> trees. Aren't Anna and Pat the best? <laughs> they are. For doing that? Yes. And <sighs> Anne walked right up to me and she knew my name, which was yes. so impressive because it wasn't that she knew my name. She knew everyone's name. She said that she had been mm -hmm. studying everyone's. <laughs> social media or whatever so that she would know their faces and I just that was so sweet oh. that that makes a big mm -hmm. impression when mm -hmm. you take that kind of time but yeah your tree was right there and the cute garland that her daughter had made yes. out of the map yeah so um, if you guys haven't seen that go, go to go look. die princess is that die, where they posted die, die pot uh, anyway, dying to stitch. Yeah, Pat posted some, yes. and I can't remember hers either right now. Anyway, call the shop, say what's your Instagram. Yeah, and, and it's cute. So they did a really cute garland. I think the garland is hearts, and then the star on top of the tree is, but it's all out of a map. Map so paper. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then what With was the, the skirt? Was it? Map? I don't remember. Fabric or something. I can't remember that part either. But it was so cute. So that was so fun. And then, of course, the store is just amazing. And, and you know, time. Brenda was there during the little open house. And That's so it was just fun. fun. It, was, it was a great, great time. Mm -hmm. Got to meet lots of fun people and fun people that I know through Instagram or whatever. And mm -hmm. um, make a connection there. So Jenny. We're just going to say hi, yeah, Jenny. Jenny. Someone yep. we met at Shepherd's Bush yes. Retreat. It's such a small world. Yeah. Shepherd's Bush Retreat. And then she ended up at Dying to Stitch. And she'll be going to um, the Hands Across the Sea. <gasps> yes. uh, Great British Sampler Retreat. That, that you're going to I will get to, to be too. there with her. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. Cool. I mean, that's really that's cool so that fun. you get to go together. So and that we made that connection. And that was because of her. She right. came up and said hi. Mm -hmm. And I said I wasn't going to die into stitch because she asked. And I said, but I know two really fun ladies who are. Yeah. You oh should my. come meet them. Yeah. It's such a fun community. And it's just fun that we all can have an immediate connection with each other. I think mm -hmm. it feels that way. So yeah. it was fun. Yeah. Plus a lot of other connections just because mm -hmm. you get to know each other. Right, right. Yeah. That's true. Yep. Mm. Yeah, so fun. So yeah, it's the best place to be. <clears throat> so then, what else did we do? We went to Missouri. Just a shout out to um, Stitch Etc. That was our first trip, totally just for work. And then we just went on a trip to Texas because we had a new grandbaby born. And yeah, I took off several days yes. and just stitched, As and it was should. wonderful. Yeah, and did baby time. So and he's beautiful. And happy and healthy and mm -hmm. everybody's good. Yeah. And you went to I went to Oceanside. Oh yes. Is that right? Stitchy friends. Yes. Yes. While I was in Texas. While you were in yes. Texas, I was in Oceanside. Mm -hmm. A group of us go every year and just sit <clears throat> at the Oceanside cool. literally and work on whatever we want or just look at the beautiful ocean and 
Mm, so, yeah, it's been we, it's been a busy fall. Yeah, I feel so. like fall kind of gets that way, but now we're just home. Yeah, to settle in, be homebodies. Yeah, take a long winter nap. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> and watch the snow. Yeah, and watch the snow, which I do have <laughs> snow at my house. So yes, I came home to snow. And it's so pretty outside already. Yeah, it's beautiful. All white. Yep. All right, so okay. let's get into this. Let's do it. <clears throat> so thread milk design finished their state. So the statehood. What an one accomplishment. Right. Chris and I are very happy. Yeah. I'm sure he's so way much happy. work. <laughs> I'm pretty very happy too. But let's just show you the last 10 because um, they were so fun. And these, and like I told you before, we set this list a year and a half ago, not knowing we were going to go to Missouri right when these got finished. So our trip to Missouri, we purposefully went through, um, and Chris and I are going to do a video. It's going to be really fun. Might even be kind of funny. Um, you know. But we purposefully went through uh, South Dakota. We didn't get up into North Dakota. Here's South Dakota. And went and saw Mount Rushmore. And we'll put pictures and video of that in the next video. It's so fun. And uh, we, while I was in uh, Louisiana, in Lafayette, visiting my friend Betty, she said her husband and boys all went to South Dakota to go pheasant hunting because it's like mm -hmm. the best place to go pheasant mm -hmm. hunting. My brothers have done that, yeah. Have they? Yeah. And they lived there for like 10 years, so they kind of knew the whole, you know, lay the of the land. Yeah. yeah. And like how we have to go do this. So there it is on the chart. Love it. It's the state bird. And I don't remember anything else about it other than <laughs> Mount Rushmore was the... One of the best historical sites I've ever yeah, seen. You've amazing. seen it, right? Yeah. So oh. amazing. And the history and how there were like four. I'm going to get the stats wrong. Maybe Chris will yell what's actually <laughs> the true. <laughs> yeah, correct us. <laughs> we get off track a lot. I definitely do. <laughs> I, I make things up all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there were like something like 400 people who worked on Mount Rushmore and not one of them died. Yeah. I mean, you look at the cliffs and everything right. and you're like... No one fell, not one person. Yeah. It's a, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. it's kind of a miracle <clears throat> place in my yeah. opinion. So fun that you and, got to go there. Yeah, and every state. So there's this walk that you take up to the lookout, and it's just lined with all the state flags. Oh. So we were like, wow, all happy. And it I all felt came like together. This was perfect. Yeah. What a um, journey. So who else did we go see? We saw. We drove through Nebraska. And I think that this is where the Willa Cather walk is. And we passed by it twice and just kept driving through because we forgot it was <laughs> right there by the freeway. I don't know how that happened, but it, it did. I was really mad because I really wanted to just go read about her. But that's how Nebraska turned out. So there are some sunflowers. Um, there's a sunflower path or I don't know, legend that goes through Kansas. And then it also is, I believe, the, it's not the state flower, the goldenrod is. That's mm. what this is. Mm -hmm. And then this cute little bird is, oh, he looks kind of hard to chart. So but cute. just looks a little watercolory. So right? cute. Yep. I love it. So we did definitely drove through, and yes, saw lots of cornfields. This is the big oak mm. there again. And Chris and I do a video. <laughs> the facts will be historically correct. correct. <laughs> but I love that the Kansas City Chiefs color is red, mm -hmm. and their Kansas turned out red because it was it's, it was Red's turn, right? So that was kind of fun. In Nebraska, the boys are right over there. Yeah, I could holler, there, but, but they're I'm, not helping. I'm not gonna, you know, yell at him. He's probably asleep. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Something cool about Nebraska and the color red, too. I, I can't remember right now, and you're probably going to yell it at me because mm -hmm. you know in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to tell you? Oh, yes. Oh, he's not yeah. napping. The Nebraska Cornhuskers, the football team coming to Nebraska, their team color is red. Nebraska Cornhuskers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, represent football right there in there Kansas go. and Nebraska. Okay. Okay. All right. So... <clears throat> We didn't go through Colorado that trip, but we did this last trip when we were coming back through Texas. 
and the song Colorado Rocky Mountain High by John Denver was just playing in my head uh, the whole time. It's the best. It is. So here's <laughs> a cool fact about both West Virginia and Colorado. West Virginia um, has some mountains, and yes, there's another John Denver song mm -hmm. about West Virginia, West Virginia. Mountain mm -hmm. Mama, yeah. Take Me Home. Yep. So I think it was West Virginia who adopted that song as their state song. But then around the same time, Colorado, one of them has two state songs. One adopted the John Denver song as their second state song. The other changed their old state song to his mm. as the mm. same song. Fun. So, yeah, I was having a little John Denver moment because <laughs> in my list, here came John Denver. And then I think it was not the next state, but maybe the next state after West Virginia came to Colorado. So, yeah, mm. I had to memorialize John Denver of course. in both yep. states. Absolutely. He should be. Right? Yeah. yeah. Little cool John Denver song. Yes. Yes. Honey, why don't you just come over here? <laughs> so I say it twice. <laughs> okay, you're gonna add, you're gonna get some Chris. Okay, and we'll talk. Do we talk about Jeopardy now? All we're gonna say is go watch Jeopardy because if you read your facts, you're gonna score on the state <laughs> column that's going on currently because it's been happening. Chris okay. watches Jeopardy. Okay. I plus two. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure where to look. Do I look in the camera? Yeah, How you can look work? wherever you want. Right there. Okay. <laughs> There's no rules. <laughs> so the first NFL game in Germany ever was played last Sunday, yeah. was it? Mm -hmm. Or two Sundays ago. Anyway, I'm forgetting the date. I think about a week ago. And um, it was monumental because there were something close to like 3 million ticket requests for that NFL game played in Germany. But what was really cool was at the, towards the end of the game, the audience and attendance in the stadium just spontaneously started singing the John Denver song, Take Me Home, Country oh, Roads. Oh, okay. It was really neat. Oh, okay. that's so cute. I'm going to have to YouTube that or something. Oh, just a little tidbit. Look that up. That's fun. Well, I thought too. I was like, Take Me Home, is he from West <laughs> hey, Virginia? You probably need to again. <laughs> yeah. Well, holler <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where did we hear he was born? Arizona? Now you're we, looked, me. we looked that up too because I was like, is he from West Virginia? I think it's Arizona he was born. Um, so anyway, yeah, cool stuff. Um, these little tools right here are pick and hammer from the state flag because there was so much mining that went on in Colorado for such a long period of time. And I can't remember what that tree is. I can't remember all the trees. I'm not gonna worry about that. I know. You're, you're a ways out now right. from the states. Yeah. Right. 50's a lot of trees to remember. <clears throat> okay, so this brick road is so cool in West Virginia. It's the first brick road ever engineered and laid to drive on. Wow. And it's in the chart. You'll hear whose idea that was. Also, the first rural, rural route mail was experimented in the country area of West Virginia because all the people who lived in the country and on the farms had to go to town and get their get mail. Get their mail. Hmm. Yeah. So someone came up with that awesome idea. Yeah. We had idea. a rural route address for quite a while, actually my whole life growing up. Hmm. And then they changed to street names a little bit later, yeah. but we're grateful. For our USPS. Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. On this wonderful, awesome trip to Missouri to Stitch, etc., we also stopped. <sighs> this is take my breath away for a moment. Moment of silence. <sighs> right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For a country sampler. Because every time someone talks about it on FlossTube, you're yeah. like, yeah, I need to go. And then you get the email and you're like, wow, these pictures are beautiful. And I told Lori, I am not a jealous or a fear of missing out person. Yeah, you do your own thing, right? But for the first time, <laughs> I said to her, you have to call um, me. You have to face me. You have to, you're going to shop for me. And pictures. she did. But anyway, no, really, truly such a fun thing. But yes. I was a little bit. If I could have been anywhere, 
you would have been, been there with me. Yeah. I know. I almost said, do you want to just fly in? Do you like, <gasps> go to Minneapolis someday, or someday I will. But um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's so, so it fun. was awesome. So, and I managed <gasps> to not even be there and make two separate purchases mm -hmm. over, over the, the phone. phone. <laughs> so it, it all worked perfect. out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. We, well, yeah, we'll probably highlight that in a Christmas video or yeah. something, but oh, yeah. we both bought angels. The angels. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're beautiful. And they are totally, definitely worth. Yeah, they're beautiful. Because they're going to be in your home 24-7. Exactly. 365. Yep. They are gorgeous. Yep. So, yes, I got to meet Krista. Jean, Jean, Janine. Oh, I'm going to be talking. Anyway, her daughter, Krista couple of ladies were so helpful at the counter and then I got to meet Jean Horton and in the back mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they were so cute because they wanted to know who I was so I told them <laughs> and I sp bought some stuff and they bought some stuff yeah, and we just had this good. great little visit it was so amazing so yes <sighs> for Wisconsin mm -hmm. there had to be a red cow and yes this I did not make the color red for Wisconsin. It just came up came in the out. list. So, of course, we had a beautiful little red cow. And they are the leader mm, producer of cheese. Dairy's a big thing in their state. So, of course, we had to have a fence. But first thing, Krista looked at us and she went, oh, a red cow. <laughs> oh, so we as cross-stitchers know. The red cow. We know what that means. Mm -hmm. So... Yep, Wisconsin mm -hmm. was a very fun visit. I'm pretty sure I probably drove past Michelle Rudy Farm Girl's house because we drove through Cashton and the most amazing valley of farms and red barns and white houses I've ever seen. And it was just one after the other after the other for 45 minutes to Beautiful. an hour. <clears throat> Beautiful. Oh, because our friends, okay, I'm going to do a quick little shout out because we're talking about Wisconsin, our friends Doug and Jen bought a farm kind of on a hillside, but it also has some low spots too. And Jen has is living her dream. She is a flower farmer. Mm. And uh, she has been doing it for over a year, maybe two years now. But you must go follow her on Instagram. Her name is Happy Hills Farm. Uh. And I was going to card right here with me because oh. oh, I wasn't quite prepared for it. Chris and I'll talk about it later again, but Happy Hills Farm, go look at her posts. So she does flower subscriptions, delivers them herself within a certain radius of Cashton, Wisconsin. Wish, wish <laughs> so um, she has a list on her Instagram or it's her email like subscription of which zip codes she will hand deliver flowers to you. And people will just leave a bucket of water on their front porch, and she can oh. just set it there and then go on to the next thing. delivery. And they're gorgeous. Fun. And she does, mm -hmm. she does an amazing variety of flowers. How and fun. everything you want in that time of year, like the spring flowers, the anemones. She does a lot of anemones. Mm. Oh, my God. So, yeah. they're. I mean, and their farm was cute. It was really fun. They're building their house this summer. They're doing everything themselves. Fun. It's really cool. That's so fun. look up Jen. So then, oh, we drove through Minnesota. We did not stop except maybe to get gas, and it was very late at night. So we didn't get to Grace or Minnesota much, but we didn't get to see the. Uh... Why does this happen? <laughs> the loon. I was like in my mind, spoon. <laughs> oh dear. The loon, I have heard these are very, there's a lot of them, and I'm sure it has to do with the lakes and all the water and all that kind of stuff. Um, the other cool thing about Minnesota, I'm pretty sure the rusty, rusted striped bumblebee is their state bee or insect, so I had to have a bee on here. Is there any others with charms yet? No, we're getting to those. Okay. Um, but this prairie house stands for Little House on the Prairie that walnut grove and um the little house um museum mm -hmm. Lori ingles wilder mm -hmm. museum is there mm -hmm. so that is a reason alone to go to minnesota right we weren't very far from it but we just did not have the hours to, to do stop it. to yeah. actually go um 
this two hearts and king it stands for the king of hearts so the very first open heart surgery happened in minnesota my goodness so there's some facts about him the doctor wow the surgeon on that chart all too. this trivia is so fun it's so cute right mm -hmm. okay so i don't know which one i i mean i always say i have favorites when i do a few mm -hmm. and we're saving this one for last because it is literally last yes um in the 50 so these two right here um hold on we got a phone call Okay, it says it's still recording. <laughs> Hold on one sec. Technical help. Hang on, call us. Okay. I don't warn my kids when they're going to film. I probably should. <laughs> Maybe we should just send them a little a little warning. quiet note. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this is happening. Um, so anyway, <laughs> these two states, I don't know, maybe it's because they're red, but they just turned out, I think they just really... I love because of what's in that state, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. in North Dakota, they are the leader in the United States for honey. I bet you didn't know that. Nope. So of course I had to do like some honeycomb. And this little bee is, you can get these on Amazon, probably in bulk. I do have some. Um, so you know me, I might send you one in an envelope. We'll see, but you can find them on Amazon. I don't know how many of these I have. This is a um, really cute ladybug. Cute. Because the ladybug is the insect. I need to look it out with my glasses. So there's two charms on North Dakota. But okay, if you're the leader cute. in honey production, you deserve it. Right. Mm. Okay, that's cute. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And their, oh, their state fruit, I think, is uh -huh. the choke cherry. Which I grew up with oh, choke cherries. Did I grew you? up with choke cherry syrup. Syrup. My great grandma would make the syrup. Like for pancakes. Oh, so, so good. That makes my mouth water. Yeah. And have you ever eaten one raw? I don't think so. Did kids do that? Uh uh. We did. No, I just remember the syrup. It was like a dare. Here, <laughs> right. You need to taste this. It's really good. It's really good. Not they so much. They are just so sour. Needs a little sugar in uh -huh. the syrup. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why they're called choke cherries. <laughs> So, really? That's funny, girly. Okay. Because <laughs> they literally make you pucker. Okay, so you know when you eat peanut butter and you're just like, mm -hmm. like it's mm -hmm. just stuck everywhere? Well, the choke cherry dries your mouth out completely. Oh. So you're kind of having this like sour, dried out mouth. That it, you can't get away from. It's bad. Okay. It's really bad. That makes sense then. Yeah. All right. But they're beautiful, and the bushes are huge. They're like as big as trees. Uh -huh. My brother Kirk, who lives right over here, uh -huh. has a choke cherry tree. Oh, and they make choke cherry syrup oh, every year too. So good. That's such a fun. That's a memory, <gasps> right? Thanks. Yeah. Total childhood thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guess they grow a lot throughout Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, mm -hmm. North Dakota, mm -hmm. the northern states. Mm -hmm. So because they like the cold in winter, yeah. they don't Idaho. die off. That would have been my grand. Yeah, oh, uh -huh. I've been pressed in. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, so this one, Washington was just uh, two things. Okay, so if you're doing something historical, how cool to find out that the name of Washington, the state, is named after George mm -hmm. Washington, the father of America. So that's why that's on there. Um, there is a city called George in Washington. And um, they, I think they're the leading producer of apples, but regardless... We're sampler stitchers, and we're going to have a bowl of fruit yeah. on the Washington yeah. pillow, so that's yeah. why that's there. And then their state insect is the dragonfly. I love and the variegation in that um, color, in that right. red. Do you remember what that is? I, is think, that I think it's apple fritter. Apple fritter, okay. Right. Apples, because okay. we like to customize our... Yeah. Right? We're yeah. going to talk about that in a minute. Uh -huh. Yeah, that okay. apple fritter yeah. is very bright. Good variegation in it. Yeah, bright and soft in some places. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Yeah. Okay, so the last one, number 50, is Hawaii. Oh. The pineapple. Yeah. And these, okay, now that I look at, okay, and aloha is just, you mm -hmm. see it when you go to Hawaii. Yes. When you come, when you go, yep. when you hug someone, mm -hmm. whatever, it just is this universal phrase there of, um, Greeting, kindness, mm -hmm. love. Yep. And when people, okay, so when we would go, we had some people from Hawaii in our 
uh, that came to church with us in Louisiana, and when they greeted you, it was always aloha, aloha. aloha. We got it a lot. It was mm -hmm. very fun. So this is not exactly the state flower, but you'll see flowers in Hawaii everywhere. So we had to have some of those. Mm -hmm. And pineapple. Mm -hmm. The dole pineapple plant is in Hawaii. Yep. They grow best there. These, at first, I, now that I look at them, they're kind of like ocean waves, maybe. But they're bats. These bats are native to Hawaii. Oh. Did you know there's no. a native bat? No. It's also their state... Um, mammal. Wow. Yeah, because they're a mammal. Yeah. Yeah. And to read about them, I think they're called, <laughs> it's a weird name. I think it's like the hoary bat. Huh. And I don't know what the name's from. They're not very big, but yeah, I just. Okay. Well. Yeah. And I don't think they're anywhere else in the United States. Just why. Interesting. Okay. So you're done. that's done. Yes. Oh, um. What a, what a fun thing. Right. Seems like I had some sort of business thing I needed to talk about. Um, we are back in town, so orders are going to go out tomorrow on the promised date. We'll be shipping tonight and get those all caught up. And um, I do have um, another thread milk <laughs> that's coming out. And I haven't decided if I'm going to release it at Christmas or save it for Valentine. Because it definitely has to do with the color red. And they're going to be real, they're really cute. They're really, really cute. So watch for that. We'll send emails. If you want to know what's going on, get a, a subscribe to our newsletter. You will get information first before Instagram. Mm -hmm. I try to give subscribers a few minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it. I'll let you know okay. when our newsletter feed That's exciting else. news. Okay. Yes. We okay. love our thread milk. Oh, it's just fun. Yep. Good stuff. Yep. All right, so we move into whips. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. let's do it. So in because we're talking about fall, and I, I do want to do a little shout out really quick just to Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I love Thanksgiving. Oh, I me too. like wait until the day after Christmas to really, or after Thanksgiving to get my Christmas out. Mm -hmm. But just because I really love celebrating me um, too. what happened. Yeah, me too. I love it. So mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of in transition here. Yeah. Of, all my Thanksgiving is still out, and it's we're ready for Thanksgiving. Beautiful, but, beautiful um, stuff. Christmas will start to trickle in a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of nice, too, to get the tree up mm -hmm. a little before Thanksgiving, yeah. maybe, but yeah. then start decorating it after. We have one tree know. that we have up right now, just because I'm so excited about my that room. Do you want to talk but about that? But then our room? other tree is a live, a real tree, and so we don't get that until the day after Thanksgiving. That's always a... A um, big, gorgeous tree. A big event that we just love to yeah. have breakfast and go get the tree. So that's always fun. So And we don't have room to store trees. No. We threw away our last tree last year, so we might be getting real trees this year. Ooh. Not very big ones, but... There's something about a real tree. Yeah. So you can but, smell them and all yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, so anyway. talk about that. Well, let's do whips. i got to okay. keep us on track okay. here because I do get <laughs> off track. <clears throat> okay, Sandy. Show us what oh. you have been, what you are working on. Okay, oh. well, since we're talking about Thanksgiving, let, mm -hmm. let me just do that. I'm, oh, I'm so close to being finished with this. I've been very all over the place. Yeah. Like I said, I really can't even remember where I've been <laughs> what or what I've been working on. So, mm. oh, but um, I'm almost finished with Harvest Blessings. I'm do my Archie Archive Kisses to the altar. <laughs> I love this one. Did you I get it too. with the kit? Yes. This came with um, <clears throat> uh, Coming to America, the women, the right. Mayflower, mm -hmm. Brenda Gervais. So, okay. Uh, sorry for the break in the video. We had a phone video complication, but it's fixed now. So, with Sandy. How better? So, okay. So, we should start over with that one. Okay. We showed Harvest We got blessing. close. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm really close. I'll get that finished and have it. Have it for, mm, um, beautiful. So fun. I forget about that one because I, I was sitting in the yeah. box and I can't yeah. even. I love I that one. That. I thought I need, I need to get that finished. So okay. I've been working on that. Okay. Do you and want me to do else? my other Thanksgiving? Um, yes. So this is from Shepherd's Bush Retreat. Oh, that's right. 
Paulette yes. Stewart. This, is, meeting. this was um, Paulette Sampler. Oh, and it's gorgeous. It and is so to me, it's like number four of all of her beautiful Now, I was pieces. making really, really, really good progress on this. And then I went to Dying to Stitch, and Brenda gave us orders to get something finished by winter solstice the 21st. Okay. So, um... Is that what you want to do, or are you going to do hers? So, I got distracted. I got distracted. So, okay. I've been working on, you know, this, which... Oh, I just love Look it. Look at the colors. Mm -hmm. The teal blue. I don't even know if I'd call that teal, but when you mix it with orange... And my Oof. cute friend, Debbie, our friend Debbie Dewey, Oh yes. she taught us about copying our samplers or and making our little, so look how cute these are. These oh. are all from the photo that Paulette gave us. So what did you copy it on, that car heavy cardstock? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she actually did it on cardstock and then she used um, like scrap of paper on the back. Oh, yeah. so it's glued. So it's kind of a double, but anyway, it's just yeah. such a fun thing They're gorgeous. for this project. Mm -hmm. um, so. Okay, that's a good one. Let's I, show, and that'll probably come out next year, did you say? I, I'm sure, yeah. Okay. I'm, yeah. It's such a fun one. Um, so pretty. That was a very fun, very fun class and just a very fun project, so. She's a fun person. Mm -hmm. I love all the historic stuff she does too. Yep. And her charts. And yep. Do you want me to keep going and then yes, you go? Keep okay. Going. Or should we do it? Because I'm okay. just going to fan myself. <laughs> this goes Sorry. back to um, the Bristol Sampler Retreat that we went to. Um, perforated paper. And. Is that the old one? The uh -huh. antique that they yeah. did this after? Yeah. So we, um, it was so fun that Megan had us do a mock-up. A prototype. <laughs> Be, yeah, so that yeah. we knew what we were actually doing. And I came home and I've got, I've got every, I um, used walnut crystals and just dry brushed on my paper because I wanted it to look old. And I got all the stitching done. And this looks like fall to me. <gasps> yes. Such yes. a pretty color palette. And they're all GMC. And then I have started the construction. Of it. Employed. So that's so, more paper on the inside, right? Perforated so paper. yeah, so that's more paper that will form the pockets inside. And then we do these little ribbon hinges. They're so pretty. They're like satin ribbon or something. And then, anyway, so we, we got all of the trim and everything to finish it, but um, I think next that's step. so pretty. Yeah, so I'm on to the next step of that. Oh, it's always so pretty. Um, this was Shepherd's Brush mm -hmm. also. Um, this Tina always gives you kind of a little uh, pin cushion to do that matches the sampler. Cute. That she designed, and I have this cute little antique. I've got to do something with that, and I thought that was cute with that. Oh, it looks so cute. But um, <clears throat> so she just has you kind of work the specialty stitches and stuff on it. Mm -hmm. And then I had to do that little shepherd lady because look at how cute she is. That little shepherdess. Is she off the main chart? She's off the main chart, and I just think she'd be so cute turned into a strawberry or something mm -hmm. hanging with that. So. Heart and Soul, that was pretty mm. fun. And then, let's see, we're, I've got stuff everywhere. This was from Dying to Stitch. This is our Friday welcome project. Autumn Slender. It's like Quaker. And oh, I stars, huh? immediately oh. got it finished because I just love it. And I always learn something new. <clears throat> from Brenda and she did not disappoint so mm -hmm. these little Smyrna mm -hmm. crossing she had us pull thread from the linen from the edges of the linen 
Ooh. And those are stitched with linen. With linen. Oh my goodness. On linen. <gasps> that is so pretty. Stuff. And then she gave us the little frame and everything to, you know, finish. And, but I love it. So these stars yeah. mm -hmm. are the linen. Yes. Just from, wow. yep. So that was such a fun little tidbit to learn. That is gorgeous. And such a pretty little piece. And I'm sure that'll be available. I just love the, that subtle stripe. Mm -hmm. It's like so a watermark. Pretty. And the wing on the bird. Oh, pretty. And let's see. <clears throat> the, I, so I've been working on this oh, a little needle book. I have a pair. I'll show you in a little bit. But I'm very close to getting this cute little pumpkin. Let me see how finished. Opens. Oh, so cute. yeah, so you end up just creating a little hinge back here and then you line it with so the velvet. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, isn't that cute? So it's just all velvet, and then Vel this is the wool. inside is a cotton, oh. just a mm -hmm. kind yep. of a woven thing. Yeah, that's really that's pretty. such a fun little that'll mm -hmm. just be fun, yes, to add to all of the ball, and then one more rib. Oh. You're almost done with this. I'm, right I'm getting really close. The sampler for all seasons, which was the special um, release from Needle. I can't remember the name. It was on Homespun no, Sampler I can't Facebook tell you. page. Needle. Mm. I don't know. But it's not available anymore. I did check. I, call, I emailed her or messaged her and, and just said, I bring. I bring. But it'll come out next year, I'm sure. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Okay, just I mean, going close with this I'm house. not really. Wow. That's so pretty. It's basic, but it's her color oh, is so gorgeous. I just think the it's message. so pretty, yeah. I love that. So, those are... Mm -hmm. The things that have been well, and then one other. One more. But do you yeah, want me to talk about that? Yes. Okay. It's so, the one that Brenda told you to. Yes. So do. this is the one from Dying to Stitch. And oh, look at the box. I mean, just like she always does. Yeah. So cute. Um, it's called The Light of Winter. And it it was so fun to be with Brenda and hear her um talk about her inspiration for the piece, for why, yeah. and well, can you tell all us? around winter. She loves winter, and I am a winter girl. I, yes. I just love everything about um, what winter brings, the rest and mm -hmm. the peaceful and the... Give everybody, give nature a break. Give us time right? to just slow down. Mm -hmm. um, and she told the cutest story about the first snow that would fall and how it would look like the down out of a feather pillow mm -hmm. and how her mom would always say that the angels were having a pillow fight. Oh, can you? And that just got me because my gram always said that. Are you serious? And um, yeah, my gram would tell me that the angels were having a pillow fight. And then when it would thunder and lightning, my grandpa would tell me that the angels were bowling. Bowling. <laughs> yes. So... Oh. <laughs> Anyway, she did a beautiful presentation oh. all around winter and um, just the fact that a lot of her pieces are winter mm -hmm. and why and what that means to her. And, and then so she beautiful. talked about winter solstice and she encouraged us to have this finished by December 21st, which is the winter Three solstice. Three weeks away. Three, four. So... Six. I'm, oh, you I have think a I good can start. Do it. I think so. I'm I'm more than halfway. Okay, and again, her good? colors are incredible. This is what she said is her new favorite DMC color. Is it 356? 22. Oh, 22. Mm -hmm. It's the new one last year from DMC, 22. I believe. And it's beautiful. Mm. So, and anyway, she gave us these adorable little cards um, that you could, you know, turn into your floss straps mm -hmm. or just use she just she didn't give them with holes 
So you can um, sketch. So you could use them for gift tags or whatever. And then in one in her class, she had us make this little holly berry. Oh, is that out of wool balls? It's out of wool. And wool. Or and of course, you know, I mean, anybody would think of, could think of that, but not the stitching and yeah, the little detail like that there. she had us add to it was just totally Brenda. Oh, that's a Smyrna cross, right? So isn't that so On cute? Yeah. yeah. Let's change the, is that really close? Just because. So. Okay, camera. Come on. There you there go. You go. <gasps> Oh, so simple, gorgeous. so simple, such a simple little thing, but Did so you pull cute. it through the back and uh -huh. then glue yep. them mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. and close up all the knots? Yep. Oh, my Isn't that cute? Mm. Oh, I love so, that so the much. Light of Winter, I'm sure that it will be available. And the other fun thing that she talked about was the, should, yeah. the little tree lined lane or street that this is a neighbor to, oh, same trees. Winter Rose Manor. Oh, of course. So Winter Rose Manor is gonna have a neighbor. I love it. I know, this is so cute. cute. So are you, okay, so question. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna frame them kind of similar? I don't know yet. Probably, I don't take know. It in with it's you. always hard to know, mm -hmm. but. Take it into Jill and see what she's. I mean, they're just like. Oh, so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're on the same street. They are definitely. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I love that. That is what I've been working on. <gasps> so much beauty, and those works on that house. I was looking I at know, the detail. They're, they're just three stitches. Yeah. They're tiny. So pretty. So, so cute. Yep. And then the color on the angels mm -hmm. is just perfect. What is that color? That is, that's a DMC. The green. It's kind um, of a pungent green or like a celadon. 734. Oh, that's pretty. Yep. Wow. 734. Pretty. Who would have just grabbed that and thought, oh, angel Brenda. dresses. Brenda. Just Brenda. Yeah. But I love her so, mix of DMC yep. with yep. hand dyes. I do too. They're yes, always they beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah, they're so. gorgeous, DMC. Out there. <laughs> All right. There you go. Those are gorgeous. Fun, Yay. fun projects. So much beauty. So fun. Thank okay. You. Oh, thank you for sharing those. So while I was sitting and stitching, I um, haven't just sat and watched because we don't, we don't even have like a satellite dish or anything anymore. We just do Netflix and Prime, whatever movies, mm -hmm. and you just... But at the pilot house, while I was sitting and stitching, this is what I watched. It was <laughs> good old Joanna Gaines. And I, yeah, I know this is like three or four years old. Yeah, it is. So I just barely watched it for the first time. Well, the recipes were so good. I was starting to, I didn't have any paper and pen. Right by me. <laughs> I don't know why. Isn't that, yeah. I was texting Chris the one cherry tart recipe. And I was like, he goes, what do you use? And I said, I just need it. I need to put down on something. So it's in our text. So that you remember. Yeah. And, I was like, and by the way, where's your pen and paper? <laughs> so I finally <laughs> found some. And I start writing down like two or three things I'm watching. And then I was like. We just finished watching okay. The Castle. Is it done? Is it It's done. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I got to like episode two. Yeah. It's pretty fun. The Castle will be cool. So anyway, here they all are in the first book. And there's a book two, right? Yeah. I think there's even three. Oh my word. I have so, all of them. Get, yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, simple recipes mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. are basic. And they're just goodness. beautiful books. Yeah. Cool linen binding. That's fun. So, and That's yeah, fun that you had time to just do that. I probably haven't done that for, well, even just sitting and stitching, because we've just been gone and been too busy with so many things. It felt so good. And I felt like my body was just sitting there healing. Mm -hmm. Resting. It was mentally oh, very, very you good. You got so many fun things. Yeah, so I have some finishes, but I also have some whips. Should I? I'll show first this Thanksgiving whip. Because, yeah, show your whip. Because I have a couple oh. finishes that I didn't show. So. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, we'll so um, Terry and Tina at Shepherd's Bush have done what are called these little trifles. This one's called Thanksgiving trifles. Mm -hmm. And last year I did 
-hmm. winter trifles mm -hmm. with the snowman. Yep. And because Sandy had them on her counter, and I was like, okay, I haven't seen these yeah, trifles yet. They're, so they're so darling. Mm -hmm. And of course, we call Shepherd's Bush, they'll get them completely for you with the little linen pack and buttons and whatever you want. And the buttons are cute on them because mm -hmm. they're cutesy. They're, they're cute. But they're like this classic cutesy right. yep. stuff that we all love. So I have, I did change the linen because I bought some fall colored linens I just wanted to try. So this one I think is terracotta from Weeks Dye Works. So my turkey's on that That's color. So and I know, look at him. Look how cool colorful he is. Hmm. He's pretty. Yep, I like him. So he has like a pumpkin button. This one is that orange I bought at Craft Center that I said, mm -hmm. oh, I need to oh, get, yep. pick up a piece yep. of orange. And she sold me. You bought all of it. The strips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like this L shaped strip. And it's perfect for all these little smalls. So that's Happy Thanksgiving. And it's kind of hard to see, but theirs was raspberry colored with some sort of really light. I hope you can see that. So that's going to be cute. So, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can totally mm -hmm. I love it. it. And I love them together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And then this is the third one Blessings Abound. I've got to finish that one too. So yeah, fun fall colors. Love. And what other, I'm trying to think what other, got my whip bag here. Oh, here they are. Okay, so I did finish quite a few stitches. I just haven't fully oh finished Oh my gosh, them. you've had so much fun. Yeah. And little smalls, okay, what I really found out about smalls. If you're, and I did pick up some of these linens on 32 count because I noticed on 32 count, Oh, you can just go them. so fast. I know. So I was like, why not do these on 32 mm -hmm. count, which I still love the look of. Yep, I do too. And like Beth Twist says, why not even do it on 28 yeah. with one thread? And get them done. Yeah, just to get them finished and mm -hmm. be quick. So what are some others? Okay, so I don't, if you guys haven't watched Daisy K Primitives, let's go watch her. <laughs> the cutest. The cutest, and mm -hmm. her primitive style is just throughout her entire yeah, home. Yeah, it's just classic, and yes, she stays true to who she is. Yeah, you know that's her style. Mm -hmm. So this one is country rustic primitives gobble, oh, I and I one. don't even have one star except for that little flower that hangs over his head right there. But I did start it, and it is killer, and it is milked. You <laughs> do have it milked. It is milked. Uh huh. But the colors, what I love too about Country Rustic is that her colors are, once again, very good DMC choices for fall stitching, for any stitching. She's the one that you kitted for Doreen, right? Country Rustic. Yes. That cute. The do you see what I see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I showed that last. You I know think, what? I think so. It's, a it's really in my cute bucket. One. Oh. This one. This one. Mm -hmm. And she has some to die so cute holiday yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Go to her country rustic. Um, let's see. So I pulled out some. Did I start these? I didn't start these. I don't <laughs> even know if they really count. So they don't really count as well. I know. Oh, but they're kitted. So I just grabbed some linen out of my linen drawer, two different colors, and decided to start. And I have a couple silks, but I also have some other. Oh, sorry, there's three in there. So, oh, I love it. JVW Designs Pumpkin. And this one, Squirrel, mm. is so adorable. Mm -hmm. I need that. And Owl. Have you seen the Alphabet Owl? Okay, he's cute. Is he new? Right? No. 2015. I know, okay. right? You, you just... Once you kind of get into another I designer... I have <laughs> Find it. Hi. Okay. Get it quick. I don't think it could be my hair. I don't know. It gets everywhere. Um, but once you get into a designer and you delve into like all their mm -hmm. past stuff, there's just the funnest. Yeah. Cutest stuff. She has the pair that I want to go with my pairs. The pairs. Uh -huh. oh, we mm -hmm. have some pairs to show you today. Yeah. We've gone down a pair mm -hmm. hole. Yep. Rabbit hole because 
There's so many good pairs. Mm -hmm. So Sandy showed, I'm not going to show, well, okay, I'll show it. Sandy showed last time, I think, her beautiful Stacy Nash um, squirrel pillow. It's called the squirrel. Oh, the pink, the pinky. Pinky, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So I've got a pretty good start on the basket. That basket's fun to stitch, isn't it? Yeah. Why are baskets so fun? Yeah. I think it's because they're repetitive, but you get the pattern, and right. it's just very fast. Mm -hmm. Very fast. And I realized I didn't have wood rows, so I'm stuck. I had some DMC colors, but I didn't like them as much. The wood rows matches the velvet better that you get from Blackberry Primitives. So there's my squirrel. But talk about a fun... This one's fun. It is. It's it a is. fun, and it goes really fast. It does. Very fast. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do the pin needle book. Mm -hmm. oh, I it? didn't do that. I just did the... I don't have a basket. Mm -hmm. I don't have my cover page for this. I'm so sorry. I got down to Texas, and I was like, where's my, the rest of the pattern? Mm -hmm. I normally don't do that, but I totally lost the pattern. So this one, I kitted with a lot of DMC and once again and this is a inspiration from Daisy K but also another awesome not forgotten farm look at that thread knot that, that's just look at beautiful look at those colors yeah and I picked that mummy linen mm, for this I love one. that one yep that's a good one I kind of love it for all fall and winter and red I love mm -hmm. it for any red stuff too I could get that one out. Of course, I have Brenda's or Day's stuff kitted, but I didn't start mm -hmm. it. But everybody on Instagram. Yes, everybody's doing that right now. And they're adorable. All oh, right. And the house. Mm -hmm. What in here did I actually start? Okay. This is this is the last one I'll show you because I actually did start it. And Sandy's dying to stitch this one. And I'm so excited. I don't know what it is. I know, because every time you see it, you're just like, oh my gosh. So it's oh my the... gosh. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. We're back to Plum Street Samplers. Her his and her Thanksgiving stockings. You guys. I wanted oh. to do that this year. But well, that will be my next that I want done right. for Thanksgiving next year. Next year. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like, I mean. I love it. That's just the toe of the one. The toe. So that's how tiny it is. Mm -hmm. These stockings are little. That's what makes oh, them so cute, though. Right. Mm -hmm. And the Quaker feel. Yeah. They're, yeah, pretty cute. Okay. Who is it that does, has this? Is it Brenda Gervais that has the snowman stocking? The big one. The bigger snowman. Um, there is, oh, there, there are is snowmans. One. Snow Did, men. <laughs> From Paulette. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I think so, and they are tiny like this. And I too. do. I think I have those kids. Mm -hmm. I kind of have a lot of snowmen this year, because I just decided if you're going to decorate after Christmas, uh -huh. it's going to be snowmen right. and Valentine's. Snow. Mm -hmm. There's a really cute Teresa Kogut snowman. Stu is his name, and he's holding he's the hearts. He's cute. Yeah. So you have snowmen and Valentine's the best. all together. Yeah. 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 Yep. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. So, um, let's talk about finishes now because I think the finishes are the mm -hmm, fun part, mm -hmm. right? And you oh. have lots of good finishes. Look right? at this. Okay, so we all know these are glory hole bags and you can cross stitch on them because Shepherd's Bush started They're making patterns, right? Uh, it's so Emma, right? Oh, it's so Emma. It's so Emma off of that okay. quarter. Yep. And we the mesh bag. Along with Terry, they've kind of made a request. I'm just going to put this out there for us too, because we talk about it all the time. How'd be really cool if these were like linen colors? Just linen. Just a linen. Just tan. Canvas. Beige. Would be so pretty. Grayish. Yeah. Whatever. Would be so fun. Yeah. I mean, we're already having fun with them, mm -hmm. but what mm -hmm. if they were linen colored? Yep. So, <clears throat> do you have yours? I, not out here, oh. but... Well, so here's how the story goes. So Sandy got Brenda Jure's cute, cute 
what was it called? It's not Boo to You. It's the booklet. The uh, booklet. Mm -hmm. And this one's in it. You did this last year. Showed it to Terry. A couple years ago, I did. A couple years. Uh -huh. Showed it to Terry, and Terry's like, now we can stitch on those. <laughs> so she has made a ton of bag patterns that yes, are... Yes, go check out Shepherd's Bush. They're, yeah. She has all of the seasons mm -hmm. now, I think. And a a quilt really one, cute quilt one and a, a bee. bee one. Mm -hmm. And quilts, etc. carries them all, too. So if you need to go into the store to see them, she has them. Yeah, they're so and cute. Really, but I... So I did the... The one like Sandy, because look at that. So cute. And now, it'll hold so much. Yeah, this is thick. So All there's the a lot Halloween of Halloween. All the can go in there, yeah. And there, so you have to center this, of course, yourself. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, I'm not saying I don't. Well, no, I'm saying. I get in a hurry, and I'm like, oh, I just want to stitch this really quick. Well, I had a lot of room left up here. And I did center it side to side, but... Uh, this came down low enough, and I can't remember what I changed. That's I didn't so put the cute. stars on, but I did add three little pumpkins up there on top. Just so to cute. kind of even it out. Mm -hmm. So. Yep, it's a bag. You're not it's, You're not draining it and yeah. hanging it on your wall. It's just You're just old. having fun with it. Yeah. And they work up so fast. Oh, and you can stitch them in the car, because that's where I did all these. It was in our car trip Road to trip. Missouri. So here's Look the Thanksgiving one. one. So this, this is Brenda as well, mm -hmm. and this is from the same book. Yes. But you... I turned it into a Thanksgiving bag. <laughs> made it. This is a witch. A pilgrim. <laughs> this is a witch in her book, and I just cut the hat off and put a buckle on it and made him a pilgrim and put 1621 on. I love it. For the fifth, first Thanksgiving. So then I was like, well, how many hours am I going to be in the car? Maybe I should get a couple more before I go. So I did... The red one. I did this um, last year. Uh, I made one and my too. daughter made one for a, the gift Our exchange change. that we did. Yes. And that's what we loaded all of the days in. But I, all I did was just ran a holly berry trim across the top out of mm. uh, Blackbird, off of a Blackbird sampler, I think. So it's just so fun to play. And you did those, you did a red one and a green mm -hmm, one. Mm -hmm. There's a green. Yep. That Gail has that Gail does it so cute. Yes. So I didn't have that pattern, and I was rummaging through my patterns really quick when I was I trying to get it I love the red on together. red. I think that's so cute. Yeah. And I love. I like I did a little teeny piece on the front again, and that's just from the front. And this pattern mm. is Threadwork Primitives. So Merry cute. Christmas. So this is where I keep all my um, Prairie Schooler. Cute. Oh, right. yes, all your Santas and mm -hmm. whatever. All the prayers Perfect. in there. No, I don't have them all, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. my project for those. Yep. Project one. And then, and this was my first one I did. This was a Stacey and I love this. I think this is where mm -hmm. you, the idea came, wouldn't it be fun to just have a, lin a yes. linen colored background to be yes. able to do some more every day? Yeah. And just throw together like this is a Stacy Nash pattern. It's a house. There's this house <laughs> is in the same pattern, but it's white. So I just there were two little birds. It was like a scissor fog. So I just did two and reversed one. Oh my goodness! And the so house. Facing. And then the house with the orange flowers. So it the house on the pattern is white, but I. Wanted something that and did you use pearl cottons? Or did I you did. do DMC? Okay. Mm -hmm. I used yeah. pearl cotton. I also, I though, too. threw in some, I think this is weeks. Is that weeks or this is weeks? Dyeworks pearl cotton. Okay. Um, but I also wanted to mess around a little bit with um, the wool silk uh -huh. threads by in mm, What's the name of that company? So, a couple of these are wool. Like the Stacy Nash one is all wool with the silk, so they're not hand dyed. But this might be the leaves might be weeks dyeworks olive, maybe. And anyway, I have to copy you on that gray one. Yeah. I mean, that. it's the red, right, and the the birds. So cute. Yep, love it. So that's yeah. I I don't know. You got a lot done. They were kind of major finishes, but they were car finishes, so they weren't too. Big on the part, and you really stitch fast. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Okay, so 
Speaking of trifles, there's the help. What did, did I just show the chart? Wow. Yeah. There's the Halloween ones. And I did get the linen from them. It's so cute. I love the linen. <laughs> right? Yep. There's that cute white satin thing. I have a leak. And I put one button on. I'm going to do the rest after I line them because these linens are bigger count. They have, kind of have that some holes. Oh, so cute. And this little saying is from a little orphan Annie. I did look it up because I was like, I need to know what that is. Anyway, a little orphan Annie poem, not the show, but the actual original poem. Cute. It's super old. It's like from 1885 or something. There's the Halloween. Cute linen. Yep, that is super fun. Mm. And then I've had this in my Christmas stuff, I think, or I just. Like that. Yeah, so this is. Come um, what's your name? <laughs> Oh, I've got so many words um, going through my head right now. I'll find it. You gave it to me. Um, who we love. We love so many designers, but we love Scarlet, Scarlet, Scarlet House. House. Yep. This was a freebie of hers last year. Last year? 2000. Cute. Was it older? 2020. 2020. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, love that one. Little pillow. Well, and while we're talking about freebies. Need a WordPress. Did you guys see Just this? Just barely. So, so. follow her on Instagram. She posted about it, but she also sends a newsletter. Let's get all them together. And it's, you have to put it in your cart. Yep. Log in with your name and address and then place the order for zero dollars. Yep. But it's, it is free. So, mm -hmm. go get it. And it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So, then I, Sandy gave me this pattern and then I saw it in her Instagram post. So, I was like, oh. I have to do this. Go see Sandy's Instagram. So yeah, for cute, cute stuff. So here's Sandy's finished. Mm. And I did a wool mm. to get this tour, some black wool. And... and do you sew that into the seam? I think this one I did, yep. So mm -hmm. I have, I just got a pattern from um, Cute. Maggie Bananami uh -huh. are those two pillows I was telling you about where one's a pumpkin and one's a cat face. Cute. And she did a border on there of the triangle trim that she does on a lot of her yes. stuff. Yep. So it's just peaks like this, but yep. you don't cut the bottom, so it's all one Good. piece. And then she just sewed it flat onto the pillow so it kind of hangs off mm -hmm. the edge. I think the pomegranate so. one maybe, her pomegranate. Does it have that triangle edge? I think. I think it does. Yeah. I think it does. Yep. So you could do that too. Mm -hmm. But the ruffle is mm -hmm. so, fun. so fun. Okay, this is a Beth Twist freebie I love this that one. I had. And I was like, that's happening. I stitched it with roasted chestnut. I think that's classic. That's pretty. Right? It's mm -hmm. just so slightly variegated. Yep. I love that. Ever blessed. Mm-hmm. What a cute freebie. And I think this is like 32 count light mocha swiper or something. Did you do one? One thread. Mm -hmm. And it's great coverage. I know, right? And so fast that way. Love. Okay. At Guild, we do these cute pumpkins. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to stitch on them. I've like never done stitch. that before. It was really fun, the coloring. It was really fun. Yeah. I know a lot of people have done it, but I had never right. done it. So it was a fun little project. It was. It was and that curly cue is chain stitching and I didn't have my book so I just of course do YouTube how do I, I chain stitch embroidery I can't and remember those stitches ever I can't remember what it is. yep like, that's so pretty I definitely that's had finish a, really cute yeah I had a couple mistakes in there and I just went back and tacked it down because embroidery mm -hmm. can do that mm -hmm. I love that that's so cute Shepherd's Bush sewing. This is one of my very favorite little pouches that they have. They have lots of cute ones, but but spooky stitches. Yeah. Super cute. And I probably, I mean, of course I was stitching so much. Probably would get like one, one and a half days I'd finish one project. Mm. And then I would just like flip in the next and just, oh, it was so fun. Yeah. So, so fun. fun. I love that. Okay. So those are my 
finishes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do, have, I do have a couple more finishes. I'll throw them in super quick. Only because... Um, <laughs> so while I was in Missouri, Kim Gavlik, um gave me some more pieces of wood to design on and finish on. So do you remember this, Santa? I do. Okay, you did? I do. Stacy did it, and then I got the pattern for it. So that's one of Kim's really cute $6 blocks. That's cute. That's a cute block. And a teeny tiny Santa, and you just put... Um, I I use Stitcher's tape to put mine. I think this mine. is Shepherd's Bush Santa, is it right? Theirs? I think it is, I think yeah, because I did it in their little, in the little red box. Yes. From them. Yeah. yeah, so Shepherd's Bush definitely has a box too for that. Mm -hmm. But that's just green wool. And once again, that candy cane trim, yeah. that rope trim is from per paper, purple. purple Paper Mountain. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, that's cute. I love that block. Aren't these cute? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that inspired me to um, try. Well, her, I, I got to do a sawdust tutorial. I've got people asking for it, and that'll be another video, hopefully, before Chris leaves town. We'll do some. But I found some really cute things. So I know this is totally out of season, but I came back from um, Missouri with these cute little boards. Oh, look how cute they are. Okay, now these aren't Kim, or yes, they are. These oh my are gosh. Kim Stitch, etc. boards. And look what would okay. fit on them, except I already glued, I already ironed my pill on, on it because I really like how that feels. But they would fit on here. These are Pineberry Lane. Mm -hmm. Her cute little, yep. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I, I need those boards. Right. So I have one more that I am stitching. Um, I, so yeah, this is my St. Patrick's Day stitches. There's one more in that set, and I did frame that one. Again, all the season. That's why we showed for all the seasons. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Out. Right? We're tying it all together. Have you guys seen this Biscorn by Delaney Woods Treasures? That's a beautiful one. It's green for St. Patrick's. Mm -hmm. Lucky Biscorn Anyway... I will be showing that tutorial very soon, but I wanted you to see how cute these on 36 count fit onto Kim's boards. Yep. And what a cute green. Her red is spot on, perfect red too, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, that's so cute. So super cute. Um, and then I decided I needed to do these. So I've got the Thanksgiving one done, um, and they are Bent uh, Creek. Our light's coming yeah. through the back. Oh, it is. That is cute, that pumpkin. Oh. Right? And she didn't have the square, exactly the right um, buttons, but I don't think you have to do exactly what it calls for. That's cute. Just find some cute ones. Love. Oh, and then I have, you have a, I have a treat oh. for Sandy because I stitched it, so we're, oh. I'm passing over a pattern. I love this. So we watched, uh, oh my word. Seriously, are you still so in love with um, Quirks and Stitches, Jen <laughs> yes. and her mom? That was so fun. So we watched one of their 24 Hours of Cross oh Stitch, and this is one she showed. And we were like, um, yes, mm -hmm. please. And this is not Forgotten Farm. And yes. she has a free Thanksgiving out Gosh. as well. Did you and see that? Is it Gather? Did um, you get it? Gather something. I haven't printed it out, but oh gosh, it's cute. It's simple. And it would work up really. Thank. Let's see. Keep a thankful heart. Mm, that's right. Keep a thankful heart, and Maybe. it's not forgotten. Yeah. So go. So we got to do that one too. Yeah. Really oh, fast. Love that. So I'm doing a Christmas tree one that's adorable of this, and the bird. There's a bluebird one, and I'm just gonna take them to Joe and Amber mm -hmm. and say, mm -hmm. I want to frame the same. Cute. I'm gonna hang, switch them out in the same spot. Cute. So. Love. That's on the finishes. I like that. Ten. Okay. I'll show you just quick. Finish. Paulette Stewart, Plum Street, Hello Fall. And I used Blackberry Primitive Minin. Oh my goodness. These minins are so cool. I haven't finished mine. I'm going to put the year back here. but Look at that variegation. 
Isn't that so pretty? Okay, is that just our new obsession? Our play primitives. Yeah. And so Doreen let Frost. Let me just show you. <gasps> yes, and Doreen. And Maggie. Um, but I mean, so I ordered a, a bundle of linen. And her bundles are ago. great. They don't repeat, do they? They're not no. in colors. Mm -mm. So that's what's on the back. Anyway, they are just so much fun. Mm. Beautiful. Oh, and then the velvet. So I have plans for oh, Christmas God. with oh, these. Oh, yum. But look at those. How did they get these marks in them? I just, I because it's velvet. It's like a whole nother. And so that color. brings me to the pears. Pears. Mm. And let's see. Now I'm not going to remember who this is. Bees. Annie Bees. Annie Bees. Yep. But I did the velvet on the back. Of this and one. Of this one. And I um, I made the uh, strawberry from Blackbird. Oh, yes. The big crow. Um, and so I did the leaves and the stem like she had us do on that. That. Because I loved that. Because they're gorgeous. And is it ripped or is it and cut? Then, and then you just let it fray. I just cut it and kind of fray it. Okay. And then this is the... <gasps> Mummy linen. Are they all mummy? They yeah. are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you know how a pear kind of does that? It kind of gets the little brown. Yes, the coat, the spots. And then on this, this is the linen. Oh my word. Mm -hmm. Oh, so pretty. With the darker green velvet. Oh, and look at your stitch. What is this stitch called? The herringbone stitch or something? Uh huh. Pretty and then shiny. this one, I did the same. Uh, velvet top and the cute cotton that matches that velvet yeah. so good yeah and and so you you've all seen the thread work primitive mm -hmm. but i'm gonna make this up and add it to the collection oh, i just got her um sample repair mm, and yes. there's another pair they're so fun and they're fun yes. to make and yeah. then this i showed you the pumpkin mm -hmm. but see this is what it this this is the Stacy Nash pair. Oh my gosh, cute. So see. Beautiful. Cute linen. Oh, that I love that so much. So and that's where I want the JBW designs. She has a cute pair that I just oh. She does. And you could do it on a Kim Gablick board. Yes, you and could. It'd be so pretty in here. Yeah. Hold this up so. So this was it. a finish not too long ago, but in, it was in between all the retreats yes. and stuff. It was and I got fun. into them, and they stitch up so quick. Mm -hmm. And then, really, the finish. Well, sewing them so up fun. is just three yeah. scenes. Really, really fun. Um, I think this is my favorite out of all of them because of the bowl of cherries, I'm going to call it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, there you go. Oh, I do have some of those in my shop. In, on my website, okay. if yeah. you want the pattern, <laughs> there, there you we go. go. Have a few of those because I had to have one today to stitch. Yeah, so hopefully that'll go down pretty soon. So, are we forgetting anything? There's always next time. There's always next time. <laughs> we already have plans for next time. What was so our do. next one? Christmas, but oh, we kind of want to do a red, just a red video. Yeah, so that's do. coming up pretty we soon do. too. Red. And we'll talk about our Bristol yep. works in progress. Because there's several, and they are gorgeous. Yep. Remember? Oh, and here we'll just sport. This is our one yarn little plug for today. I guess our knitting plug, because I really oh. just didn't work out. <laughs> I'm wearing mine now. Sandy's got her shawl on. So. I brought mine because I was like, oh, mm -hmm. I think it matches my shirt. There so you there go. you go, costume. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, we just threw that <laughs> Have a oh happy Thanksgiving gosh. if you're in the States and mm -hmm. just enjoy yep. time with family. and Eat well. Eat mm -hmm. pie. Mm -hmm. Eat pie. All the pie. Mm -hmm. All the pie. And Lemon cream football. for me. <gasps> Lemon, Lemon cream, cream is mm -hmm. good. Yep. Cherry for me. Okay. But I like pumpkin too. Just because it's Thanksgiving. 
I gotta make some pies. Are you making pie? Scott's making pie. Scott's making pie. Mm -hmm. Back, Scott. He's been back here making salmon dinner, so we're gonna go eat. And it smelled so good already. <laughs> All right, Floss Two. Thank you so much for your contributions to the video, Cross Stitch World. We think it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And this is just really us giving back and sharing what so, we love. Yep. Yep. Beautiful things. Okay. Bye. Bye.